What's up everybody, welcome to Podcast Now, I'm Alex, and in this video I want to talk about a Spider-Man 2, you know, leak slash rumor that came out of Fandom Wire, it came from a relatively unknown, you know, Twitter user that writes for them, actually he's a, a writer and administrator for it, um, Optical Cinema, and this was published on Fandom Wire, every suit in the upcoming Spider-Man game for PS5 will reportedly have a symbiote variant version. And then the guy who wrote it, right, again, a smaller Twitter profile, he kind of expanded just a little bit. He said this game is going to push boundaries, never attempted to be pushed before, get ready for some fun. Also says, uh, also suits will play a more major role in the story, sort of like the anti-ox suit. Stay tuned for more info about Spider-Man PS5. Uh, Spider-Man PS5's Peter's normal and symbiote suits will also have their own mechanics. Taking a page out of Web of Shadows book, feel free to ask questions. Uh, I'll answer what I can. The answers, by the way, aren't like the the most <laughs> I guess eye-opening things in the world, so we'll kind of skip over that uh, as well. And then he ends it by saying, "Same source that is giving me info on Spider-Man 2 also gave me some major Halo Infinite leaks before release." I trust him. And that's pretty much all you have. So you're kind of just left with, uh, you know, believing the guy or not believing the guy. I mean, you know, these these insiders that tell these people things, obviously you completely rely on them to be telling the truth and for them to know, you know, again, this guy knows a lot about Halo. So maybe it's like an Xbox thing, but does he know PlayStation? But I mean, this sounds about right. Um, and it's very exciting. Now, I had said it before, one of the things I do think makes Spider-Man uh, PS4 so special is the suits. And, uh, and I'm not even a suit guy. In fact, that's the main reason why I say that's what makes it special is I'm not somebody who like tries on every suit in a game. I played even the Arkham games, which have done suits actually pretty well. as uh, Not, I would say, as good, but definitely like they're there. Um, I played through the entire every Arkham game just as the base suit. I never changed it. But Spider-Man really, in my opinion, gives you a reason to change, to mess around, not just for looks, but what the suits actually bring to the gameplay. And then if you can expand upon that, right? So now every suit will have a symbiote variant version. Now that is, well, actually, no, I was going to say that's probably just like a, a visual thing. Maybe not. Maybe not at all. Um, now, I don't know if you could literally have a, a power. Well, you know what? Again, I keep saying something and then I think in my head, but it's Insomniac, right? So if you have a suit that can say, Say like a suit can do like a, a certain kind of like web blast and then you have a symbiote version. Does that web blast change into something symbiotic? <laughs> you know, I guess a little bit more evil, right? Does that happen? Probably. I mean, I, I can't imagine why it wouldn't. Um, now, that's a lot to ask, right? You have like 30, 40, 50, so however many suits and then you're going to have a a double for them so that you, you would double it and then you maybe would you have different kind of things that you can do with the suits now that they are uh, the symbiote version so that's awesome also by the way gives us i think a full-on clue now like it's kind of spoiler uh, you know spoiling it although it doesn't really matter in my opinion and I, I think it's kind of the most obvious thing in the world right like he's going to get latched onto they're going to go down that entire arc uh, and so that's you know that's fine i just think obviously this kind of um this kind of confirms it the suits will play a major role a more major role in the story so that's going to be interesting because again to me you know they're not really part of the story at all uh i guess in spider-man which i don't think is a bad thing in spider-man ps4 they're there for cool looks some of them look much cooler than others in my opinion but they all look you know decently at the at the, the bottom level they all look pretty good and then it just keeps getting better from there right and so you have that visual appeal and then they also add something a little bit to the gameplay so if they also can add something a little bit to the story my dear god and then obviously peter's normal and symbiote suits will also have their own mechanics so like the base suits uh, maybe that's a little bit different from the you know the actually well yeah i guess so right because you're thinking all right well all these special suits the the different skins that you can have throughout the game they're gonna have their own unique thing but what about like the base one that you start off is that gonna have anything special about it and it seems like from this guy that it will so extremely extremely exciting it's also by the way just cool to hear stuff about this game right it's been dark for a little while which is normal it's going to happen and we're probably going to have multiple periods of not you know having heard or seen anything about this game but it is cool to have some sort of you know info come out about it and uh you know on suits it makes sense i mean suits you go on youtube 
one of the biggest videos is always the ranking videos of the suits with the powers and abilities and the looks and all that stuff. So it's always it's always those. It's probably best to try to expand upon that, uh, you know, as well as you can. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure as always you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. If there's ever any other news on Spider-Man 2, obviously I'll, I'll be sure to cover it. If you guys want to follow me anywhere else, I have a Twitter. I have a second YouTube channel. I also have Patreon and YouTube memberships. Links for them all are in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you all on the next video.